I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be very biased in this stream. This is my Spotify. Um, as you can tell, I'm a pretty big Toby Fox fan. Here's the tier list. Uh, this is, I kind of, I just found this one and I liked this ranking um, of just straight banger, freaking amazing, pretty good, I respect it. I changed this one, it was not good, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna label any song it's not good, so I just changed it to <laughs> not my cup of tea, you know? <laughs> and then I have no opinion, don't care. It is tier list time. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting the first song. And it's Once Upon a Time. I think, honestly, Once Upon a Time's definitely not one of my favorite songs. Hold on, this part. I like this part. This part's really cute and nice. Once Upon a Time, I think it's only going into the I Respect It category. Just because it's a nice start for Undertale, but there's not really much going on with the song, you know? It's just a like, nice little opening song. So it's, it's nice and cute. I like it. Not, not crazy about it. Oh, start menu? Um, cause this one, start menu, honestly, just kind of a not my cup of tea thing. Oh, it's literally right here. <laughs> it's a, right away, not really a cup of my cup of tea. It's not a song I would really listen to on the OST. It's just kind of there. Oh. Your best friend. Honestly, your best friend, probably going to be an I respect it. Um, it's a very good theme for Flowey. It honestly fits him so perfectly, but it's not really a so- Like, again, not really one of my favorites on- It's, like, a really good theme for him. Just not, like- Not, like, a banger, you know? Just a good character theme. Alright. Alright. Fallen Down. Fallen Down is probably one of the most popular Undertale songs. Other than, obviously, Megalovania. But I honestly really love Fallen Down. Um, it's a beautiful song. And then this part, hold on, it's coming up. When the, like, the bass kicks in, right here. That part, oh my god. That part is so beautiful. Honestly, the Fallen Down is going into our first freaking amazing. Because Fallen Down's a beautiful song. And it's one of those songs where you never, you don't really, like, appreciate until you go and listen to the soundtrack. I feel like Undertale's one of those games that you have to go and listen to the soundtrack by itself because I kind of talked about it before. Sometimes you get more focused onto the game so you don't really like go into appreciate the soundtrack as much which is obviously fine that means the game's good if you're focusing a lot on that. I feel like Undertale and also Deltarune are two games that you have to go and listen to the soundtrack after you finished playing because that's how you realize all these songs are genuinely like so freaking beautiful. Okay. Ruins. This is another song on the OST that is very underappreciated. Cause like when you're in the ruins, you're in a new place you're exploring and you just don't really get to focus on the song as much. Right here. This part, I like that part. You know, you don't really, oh this part when it gets like more like, oh I love it. Ruins is probably pretty good for me. Like, I love- it's not my favorite area theme, but it's very underappreciated. Oh, this part. This part is so nice. I really love this part. What's next? Okay. This is one of the- wow, so temperate. Um, these ones are in my don't really care about them. Just because they're just kind of short. They don't really actually appear in game, really. Um, so these- those are mainly the ones that are gonna just be in my, uh, in my no opinion, don't really care about them. Ooh. Anticipation. Anticipation's another really no opinion. Not really much of the song. Oh, this song? <laughs> Again, this is just like another no opinion one because it's just when like, for one small part of the game when like, Toriel leaves you and you have to catch up. All right, enemy approaching. Okay, my problem is compared to like, Rude Buster, I definitely think Enemy Approaching is quite lower than Rude Buster. I've never, like, as in, like, a fight theme, it's always been kind of eh for me. It's probably, it's either in Pretty Good or I Respect It. I think I'm gonna, uh, put it in I Respect It. Now this battle theme. Okay, but I'm gonna be honest, Ghost Fight, really good theme. It's, it's a very good theme to have, like, your first personalized battle theme. But comparing it to a song that will come later in the OST, 
It's, it's, it's a pretty good for me. And you know what song I'm referencing. I like that one more. Oh, Determination. This is the song when you die. Again, it's another, I, it's another song you don't really pay attention to because when you die, you just kind of like die and then you like continue. So you never really sit down and listen to the song. It's not one of my favorites, but it's never really I respect it. I really like the bass in it, definitely. Home. This is one of the sweet, the really, really sweet Undertale songs that I really like. It's, it, I feel like it very much matches the vibe of Toriel and her house of like truly comforting. You know, you it, it, it's really nice. I think Home is definitely gonna be a pretty good for me. I'm not really like a big of like slowish calm songs like this, just in general. So that's probably why it's not a bit higher for me, but it's genuinely such a pretty song. Oh, and then the music box. Honestly, the home music box, I'm just gonna put it right next to home not music box. Heartache, bro. This song, oh my God, man. <laughs> This part where it goes like this and it has the symbols. One of the prettiest freaking Undertale battle themes. And it matches Toriel so well. Pro this will definitely... I think I'm gonna put it into freaking amazing rather than straight banger. All of the battle themes, I'm not gonna lie, are gonna be very high up because I love the battle themes in this game so much. Ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> Honestly, my actual um, rating would probably be pretty good because it's 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 a it's a good like it's most one of the most iconic songs on the playlist. I just like wouldn't just sit down and listen to it. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I'm probably gonna put that. There's not a lot of like specific character themes I would put into like banger territory. It's like I really like them and they fit the characters very well, but um, but at the same time, I'm like. They're not the best on the soundtrack, not the very best. Snowy, I love Snowy. This is my starting soon screen song. Um, again, pretty good. Not the best area theme. Uh, I definitely think I like Ruins more as an area theme. Very cute. I love when the, wait, yeah, right here. I love it when the violin like kicks in. It's, it's, it's a very beautiful area theme, but I think I like Ruins a bit more. All right, we have one another, Ooh, ah. they're all the uwas are really a no opinion don't care they're very pretty because a lot of my opinions are also based around the moment they play too that will be something that like affects my opinion oh <laughs> dog bass this one oh gosh honestly i respect it i just like the bass and dog bass if i'm being honest <laughs> mysterious place again this one is like kind of just a mis it's a no opinion one like it's an interesting song very unique but it's it's hard to be like i think this song is so cool you know <laughs> dog song um another i respect it i fight everyone that says the undertale ost has some songs that aren't as good dog song and i'm like well fuck you i, I love this song uh this the, the uh, i think i'm gonna put it in i respect it it's a very pretty song this part's really pretty i like this part I think shop's gonna be another. I respect it. Ah, uh, bone trousel. I like it more than yeah. Uh, I think it's a freaking amazing one. It's very good, very good. I love all the battle themes. Okay, we're getting onto the dating themes. I think that dating start is the best out of all the dating themes, especially when you get like closer into it and it does like it does so many like little fun things i definitely think dating starts the best out of dating start dating tense dating fight i think that dating start is freaking amazing uh dating tense is my least favorite out of i think dating tense is not my cup of tea it's my least favorite out of the dating things oh but dating fight so it's just a pretty good for me but dating fight's also very good i like it's 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 Another really fun play on the lay motif. Um, Premonition's another not my cup of tea. Only because I just don't really like like slow songs like this. There's not much going on. It's still very, very pretty. It's just not like my personal friends, you know? Danger Mysteries. This is kind of what I don't really care about because it's definitely just a plays during a specific part of the game for ambiance, so. Oh, Undyne, man. This is so cool, though. Okay. Um, it's a very much a respect it. It's very cool for a character theme. Oh, the little like, whoa, that's those parts. Waterfall. This song, man. It's 
Straight banger. My first straight banger. Waterfall is my favorite area theme in the entire OST. It is so freaking beautiful, man. Genuinely the best. It's, it's the best area theme. This part. This part is gorgeous. And if this area is definitely, I agree. I saw a comment on it and this area theme is the, ex the, the perfect example of just because Undertale doesn't have like beautiful top tier amazing graphics, that doesn't mean it can't make a beautiful area and just that capture, like it's the, so this song as well is the reason why like you have such like a beautiful picture of what Waterfall is. Like, oh my God. Okay, this is another one. Um, no, again, no opinion. I mean, I do really like this part of it. Um, like the, when it goes, ba -da -doo, ba -da -doo. but I don't really have an opinion on it. It's just kind of music for a small moment in the game type thing. Quiet water. Quiet water is also very pretty. Very much, a, I respect it. It being toned down is what makes it such a good area theme for the area that you're in. I'm just not like crazy about it, you know? I love Music Box, man. It's, I like his theme more once we get to his theme, but um, oh, no, this is not Music Box, this is Memory. I don't know why I said Music Box. <laughs> um, I think pretty good. I, I, again, kind of how I rated Ghost Fight, it's just because there's something coming later that's better. It's it's a bit lower. Oh, the, <laughs> the bird that carries you over a dispor- I have to read this one. This proportionately small gap. <laughs> I love this theme. <laughs> pretty good. This song. This battle theme. God, it's this part when- Oh my god! Banger! Banger! Oh my god, it's so good. Like, just the, the ghost fight was already pretty good. And then Toby Fox comes and does this remix of it out of nowhere. And you're like, oh my god. God! <laughs> Naps the Blook's house. Um, we'll play just a Not My Cup of Tea song again, because I don't know how the fuck to describe this song. Okay, now we're getting to the little fucking Naps the Blook mixtapes. I think Spook Tune, I respect it. I respect Spook Tune. Okay, but Spook Wave? I like Spook Wave more. Hold on. These are all going to the. I respect it right now. Goal a day. <laughs> this one. Honestly, Not My Cup of Tea, but this song is so funny. I, I love it. <laughs> Ooh, chill. It's- it's- I respect it. I- the Thunder Snail song. Uh, I respect Thunder Snail. Ah, Tubby Village! I love this song. <laughs> alright, uh, alright, it's straight bang. <laughs> Tubby Snail. Honestly, I want to put it into pretty good, even though this is the entire fucking song. Because it's so funny. I love this song, man. Oh my god, the Tem Shop song. <laughs> Uh, I respect it. I respect Tem Shop. This is not yet Spear of Justice, so I cannot rate it as high as Spear of Justice. Because it, it does play. This song is the song that plays right before you fight um, Undyne. I'm pretty sure it also plays uh, when you like hang out with her in her house. I think. All right, but Spear of Justice. Spear of Justice goes into freaking amazing, man. I mean, honestly, actually. I might put both of these into actually freaking amazing because I love both the yeah and Spear of Justice, honestly. Oh, here's Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's a no opinion song. All right, Alphys. I love this theme so much. Uh, freaking amazing right away. I love Alphys' theme. It's because I saw a YouTube comment once that was like, this theme perfectly describes Alphys of like, hey, you know how this part's very little, this, is, this part's very awkward and, and Alphys is really awkward, but then you get to this part and it's just pretty and smooth and nice and you realize that's who Alphys is. She's such a good person and I love her. Ah, it's showtime. I think I'm gonna put it into pretty good. I like it, very fun. I like this part, this part's a little fun and goofy. Metal Crusher. Honestly, this song shouldn't sound as good as it should. Like, if you really listen to it, there's so many different things going on at once in this song. But honestly, it's so good. It's, it's so good. Another medium. I love... Oh. This theme is so cool. Oh my god. Another medium I think is gonna go into freaking amazing, man. This is a really good area theme. This part too. <laughs> I love this part! Oh my god, it's a banger, man. 
<laughs> Here's another Uwa one. I'm so sorry, Uwas. I don't necessarily care about you that much. Oh, Stronger Monsters. This is um, it's a weird place for it to play in the OST. <laughs> It is a banger. I do think I like it better than um, Enemy Approaching, honestly. It's very good. I think I'm gonna put it into pretty good. Hotel, I like this theme. I like hotel, I think hotel's pretty good. Can you really call this a hotel? I didn't receive a mint on my pillow or anything. <laughs> I honestly think it's gonna go right next to hotel. Ah, confession. Uh, just a really not my cup of tea song. It's not bad, just, it's okay. Oh, the live report. <laughs> Honestly, it might be another not my cup of tea one. That's a death report. Okay, honestly, I like this one a lot more than- This one's fun. I like it a lot, a lot more than live report. But spider dance. Oh my god. You know, the beginning of spider dance. Very, very fun. I love it. You know, you're like, ooh, cool little battle theme. And then you get to this part. Damn, oh yeah! Fucking banger, man. Good song. Good song. Ha, ah, wrong enemy. <laughs> Honestly, it's just a pretty good to me. <laughs> ah, one true love. Oh, one true love. <laughs> this song doesn't go as hard when you are not- when you don't see the lyrics to it. And that makes the whole song, even though the song is already really good for no reason. <laughs> uh, but one true love is pretty good. I think Oh Dungeon is gonna go into I Respect It. I don't like it most- as much as Oh One True Love. Oh, this one. This song, man. It's raining somewhere else. This song is honestly so pretty. It's what, again, it's one of the few, like, very slower Undertale songs that I absolutely love. It's raining somewhere else. It's freaking amazing. Ooh, this is the core approach. When you're, like, walking to the core. I like, I very much, okay, it's kind of a no opinion song because it's a very short and a very ambient song, but I love, like, how you can hear, like, Hotel playing quietly in the background. I really like that part of that song. Oh, but core man. Ooh, this is a good area theme. I like this one. Core. Freaking amazing, man. Death by glamour, bro. Why did they have to go this hard on this song, man? What option do I have? What other option do I have? To not send this straight into straight banger. How is this not one of the best battle themes to ever exist in any game. This part, best part in this entire battle theme. It goes so hard, so hard. Um, for fans, I probably, I respect it. Oh, okay, this song. The song Undertale, immediately straight banger. This is genuinely one of the most beautiful songs on the entire Undertale soundtrack. This song, I've cried. <laughs> I've cried to this song multiple times. This song also gives me the most nostalgia out of any of the songs on the OST. I'm like getting very sentimental, but this song reminds me of how much I love this game every time. Like, <laughs> I like how right after that we get the song that might play when you fight Sans. I mean, it's pretty good. I, I think I'll just put it in pretty good. Ooh, the choice. It's really not my cup of tea song, probably. Bergen Trucking. I say Truckung. I don't know how to fucking say this song name. <laughs> I think I respect it. Cause it's really just the introduction to, um, Asgore. Asgore, honestly, freaking amazing. I love how like, you can hear heartache in it that like, they made Toriel and Asgore's like battle theme actually like connected and I love that they did that. <laughs> you idiot. Probably a no opinion song. Okay, your best nightmare. This song honestly is a really good battle theme. It's it's not a song you'll like you would like show to anybody to be like, oh, this is a good representation of the Undertale soundtrack. This is a good representation of the battle themes. It's very much a song that is only good once you know the context of it. Honestly, I have to put- it's not straight banger, I have to put it into freaking amazing. Here we are. This is the True Lab theme, right? Um, I think here we are. I'm just gonna go into pretty good. I like the theme for the area, but it's not one of my favorite area themes, of course. This is when you're fighting the Amalgams, right? Yeah, when you're fighting against the Amalgamites. Um, definitely, probably, in the entire game, this is probably my least favorite battle theme. I think I'm just gonna put it into I Respect It. When we're back to Fallen Down. This is the Fallen Down reprise. I don't like it as much as 
Fallen Down. I mean, it's practically the same as Fallen Down until the second half of the song. It's still a pretty good song. Um, I, I keep saying pretty good because that's literally my limited vocab, what I usually always say. So I think I'm going to actually put this into pretty good. Oh, this song. I think I'm probably just going to put it honestly into the I respect it because... I, I like it, it's very pretty, but I don't I don't know if I could put it higher up than I respect it. Because I do respect it, I really do respect it. Beautiful song, I love the echo in it, but it's not really like a favorite. This is what's next. Oh, I love this song, honestly. You know, I have, I have, you know, Spider Dance, Dummy, and Death by Glamour in <laughs> Straight Bangers. And this one is joining them. I love this song. This is one of my favorite boss battles in the entire game. And the fact you can hear Flowey's theme too in this, it's, uh, it's, it, like I said, it's the whole context of the song. It makes it one of the best boss battles in this entire OST. I love it. I love it. It, it just feels like it's a common, it's, it's just all what you've been working out for this entire game. And I love this battle theme. Oh, Jesus Christ, that startled me. This is second segment of I Real Dreamers boss fight. I like how you can hear your best nightmare in that, but I don't really have an opinion on that one. I don't really care about that one. <laughs> Save the world. Very, I, I don't like it as much as Hopes and Dreams at all, but the part where the song plays is very, very nice. Um, I think I'm gonna put this one in pretty good. We finally got a third row for pretty good. <laughs> Here's his theme. This part of the game has never failed to make me cry. This is a go another one going into straight banger because it's it's not necessarily because the song itself is like the best song on the soundtrack. It's just the context of what's happening when the song is playing. The name just being his theme shoots you shoots you in the fucking heart. Reunited. This is a cute song. I think this one is probably a not my cup of tea song. Only because it's not just, it's really not that memorable. It's a very much a lay motif song. I still really love this OST, man. There's like, there's no song on this OST that's bad. Like, I will fight that to my grave. No song on this OST is bad. <laughs> menu. <laughs> I think, again, just kind of putting it in not my cup of tea with the start menu. I don't really care about the menu song too much. Ooh, respect. But it's very pretty. Again, very much fitting for the context of what this what's playing during this song. It's very pretty. Like the little ruins theme that you can play right here. I love it because it's like ruins is the first area you wake up in Undertale, and then now here you are with everybody on the surface. I still think it's kind of a not my cup of tea thing. Yeah, this is the uh, the, the the credits song. I like this song. It's fun. I think I'm gonna put this one into I respect it. I like uh, Last Goodbye more. Yeah, Last Goodbye. I like Last Goodbye more in terms of credit song when we get to that one. Um, yeah, I like Last Goodbye more. I think I'm gonna change put that. I, I think I'm gonna put Last Goodbye into pretty good. Um, I think the Kickstarter uh, <laughs> the Kickstarter credit scene is really fun that you get to like avoid all the names. I really like that. It's a very fun credit scene. <laughs> but the earth refused to die. This song, like I'm just gonna put it in the respect it because it's, I don't really count it as like an actual like song song, but it's such a cool moment. And now we have battle against a true hero. Okay, I don't think I like, um, I'm still gonna put this into freaking amazing. I don't think I like a battle against a true hero as much as I like Spear of Justice. Right, I think next is Power of Neo, I think. Yep. <laughs> See, this one is short because this was just like a fucking- this is like if a boss battle was clickbait. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna put it into I respect it. It would have been cooler if it was an actual boss battle, but I don't think we could handle three major boss battles back to back to back. Oh, <laughs> oh I'll never be able to take those first few notes seriously anymore. <laughs> okay, but unironically, this song is a banger. Actually, actually a banger. Actually a banger. Megalovania is so good. I don't think it's like the best battle theme in the entire game like some people think it is. But that doesn't change the fact that it's absolutely amazing. And again, with A Battle Against a True Hero, it needed to be a song that would repeat over and over and over again, and you wouldn't get bored of it. So that's why I really like how the song kind of feels like it goes through like different stages of the song. 
So it's not just like the same thing repeating over and over again. And I really like that. All right, this is the last song. A nice little short song. This is the, um, this is only in the demo. It's very pretty. Um, for good night, where might I put it? I should probably put it into not my cup of tea. Again, with a lot of the logic I've repeated many times, so just not a big fan of slow songs, but still very pretty. We, we did it! We did it! 